All right, so a couple people have asked how to do the OSD in the uh, iris. So I'm going to try to give it a good shot here and try to show you how to get it in there. So you're going to need a couple of tools. You're going to need a uh, set of pliers there, or cutters, a pick, your screwdriver to get your uh, couple of screws out of the top housing part. You need some shrink tube and you're also going to need some connectors. I used to just use these guys here. I don't know if you can see that or not, but that's what I use. You just stuff them into the one side, crimp them and crimp the other side and put some shrink tube over top. It makes a nice, clean, neat connection. So we're going to use those. So basically what you're going to do first is you're going to take off your the top of your iris leave this here take it off I've already taken off the uh, or taken out the screws and obviously now you're not going to be able to see that so I have to pardon my camera handling here <laughs> all right so now that I got the uh, lid open I'm going to assume that uh, most of you guys know what all this stuff is. You got your Pixaw controller, you got your telemetry radio, your re receiver, and you got your GPS. I've got a bunch of extra stuff in here, but you guys don't need to worry about that. Um, so essentially, you're going to be plugging into your telemetry radio to your telemetry port one. But when you get your system, you're going to only have one wire going. From your telemetry radio to your telemetry uh, in port on your Pixhawk. So essentially what you're going to do is you're going to pull that out. So you're going to have to be pretty careful getting them out. They're not that easy to get out but use your fingernails and kind of wiggle them around and, and get them out. I'm not going to show me getting them out on camera but I'll take them out here and that way I can show you kind of how, uh, how I did rig it in. It's a little bit different so you have to you have to modify the cable. Uh, they don't come modified for some reason. I'm not sure why yet, but I imagine sooner or later they'll do it. But uh, I'll take this out and I'll show you how it comes. All right. So when you get your OSD package, you're going to get a a cable that kind of looks like like this here. Mine's modified already, but this is exactly what it's going to look like. Right? You're going to have a six-pin connector on the one end and a five-pin connector on the other end. Now what you have to do is take out the original, like you're going to take out your original uh, cable that connects from your telemetry radio to your Pixhawk. Just take that completely out and take these here, snip it right in half. Don't worry about it, you don't need it in the future, so it's just something that's uh, needed to make this work. So, on your 5N connector here, all you're going to do is you're going to snip it off, right? So snip it off about as far back, and then just connect all the wires up, just like the, uh, the drawing shows you to. So you're going to look at it, and you're going to make sure that you got all your, your cables right. Right, so now I've got only four wires connected in here, right? So you're going to join them up on your, take a sec here. Okay, so as you can see here, what I did was I cut it and then I spliced in my wires. Okay, so just cut it back here, cut your five pin connector off and then just splice them in. There's four wires. And you can see the four splices that I did here with this, with the shrink wrap. And with these here underneath, you might have to look around an electronic store or whatever to find those. So get it so that you've got your four wires. Now this here, you have to make sure you pay attention to this here. That's got to be facing down. So you have a couple extra wires in here 
and as you saw in that diagram those two wires are not necessary so it's exactly like what's in the diagram here and they're all connected up so if you can follow the simple wiring diagram you should be able to do this fairly simple um, and then I'll show you how to uh, put it back in alright so as you can see here my Telem 1 port is empty and so is my Telem 2 so we don't need a Telem 2 so we're just going to use the Telem 1 so we're going to plug in our piece that has the two pieces here or the two wires that aren't used we're going to plug that in to Telem 1 they're a lot of fun to plug in I think you need to be have pretty tiny hands to do this <laughs> but just be gentle with it those uh, connectors like to break easily okay so you've got your your OSD connector you're just gonna put that to the side and I'm gonna plug mine in or the other six port connector into the telemetry radio I believe it's straight down the pins are I hope okay so anyways I saved you guys all the grief of having to watch me fight to get this cable in here because I have so many other damn cables in here uh, this is just a power distribution board for all my lights so I just have all my, all my grounds and all my positives plugged in here so anyway that's not too important okay so that's plugged in we've got the telemetry radio plugged in and we've got the uh, Pixhawk plugged in now so now you're gonna take now I put my board my OSD board right onto the main board here and just hot glued it on so all you're gonna do is make sure your all your pins are facing up <clears throat> for your your radio or for your camera and your transmitter right so that's all pointing up now you're just going to plug this in your OSD get them on all the pins make sure it's nice and tight in there make sure you don't snap any cables or pull anything else out in the process okay so we got that now this is my cable to my GoPro now from the GoPro you're gonna to go to the the very back pins right video is obviously yellow and that's gonna to go to the right so just stuff that on there like that and then on the transmitter you're gonna put that on in the front plug her in This isn't really on there that great, but I'll plug her in there a bit better. Okay, so that's all on there. All right. And that's pretty much how you do it. I mean, there's not really too much uh, involved with it. You just cut a couple of wires and make sure that uh, you cut the right ones. Um, I'll plug it in and I'll show you how it works. Okay, so I've powered on my transmitter. Okay. So you'll see that light there is on. That means that it's transmitting. Now when I plug in my iris, everything else will light up here. Okay. Okay, so this back one here means you have power to your OSD board from the Pixhawk alright so now what you have to do is make sure your monitor and everything else is turned on and 
Now without having my camera on, I've already got my OSD. So I can see everything that's going on right there. Right? So if I move it, you're going to see your degrees on the bottom there. And right down here. You know what, you'll see it's orientation or whatever with the bar in the middle there. So it all works. You got your elevation and height, distance from home, you can change all that stuff too. I mean you just need to go in there and program it, but that's a whole nother video I think. <laughs> so anyway, that's about the size of it. Uh, you just got to remember that <clears throat> you have to have your video or your GoPro turned on to actually get video so I'll just flick it on here real quick for you kind of show you the deal there there you go so now you got your video overlay or your OSD video overlay and then uh, yeah just tuck everything else in there uh, nice and cozy and you're ready to go and hopefully this helped you out like I've got my uh, my battery for my transmitter is mounted underneath because I don't really want to run off the same battery that the that the iris is using so I don't know so I just run a a standard 800 milliwatt and uh, run that off of there so if you're uncomfortable with cutting your wires on this thing you know make sure you're looking at that diagram really carefully and make sure you cut the right cables and when you're crimping them together it, you know really crimp them together or solder them together and make sure you put you know the shrink tubing over top so you're not going to short anything out um, see I left mine kind of exposed here but I mean they don't do anything so you can cut them right off if you if you really wanted to so other than that uh, yeah that's it just make sure everything's hooked up and make sure it works and you should be good to go okay thanks Alright, so one of the things I wanted to point out here is just to, to make sure when you're putting your case back on, tighten up your your screws real tight. And you can pretty much see right here where I put where I fed my wires through for my transmitter. So I got my transmitter mounted on the back here. You know, right here. Just coming out with Velcro. Got the industrial strength Velcro. You know. So it's all sitting right there. And then my cable goes back in here. Oh, hang on a second here. So my one cable goes in underneath and up through the board and into the OSD. So I, you're pretty much going to have to take off your bottom plate here, unless you've got really tiny fingers and you can feed them up through. But. Uh, and then I've got a, these other connectors here to for my power and my battery and stuff like that. I got my battery mounted underneath the uh, the main battery door. You know, it's a little bit of a tight fit, but she fits in there pretty good with my gimbal on and everything else. Before I had it mounted onto the bungee cord or well, a Velcro strap, so now I have the uh, the actual adapter plate and everything else to to get it on there, so it works pretty good. But yeah, I've just got little. You know, wire connectors or wire, um, I don't even know what you call them. Wire organizers, we'll call them, I guess. And that just keeps my wires kind of, you know, a little bit out of the way and a little bit more tidy. And uh, yeah, that's about it. I think uh, it should be fairly simple for most guys out there to do this. Um, like I said, if you have any problems, I'm sure this video is going to be discussed anyways on the uh, on the page. So it shouldn't be too difficult to figure out once we get a couple of heads wrapped around it. And you know, I, some of the other guys might have a better time explaining some of the stuff that I couldn't explain. I'm not the best of teachers, but hopefully it helped. I mean, if it did, it, it's good. If it, if not, well, I guess I'll have to bring it in somewhere else and get it done. <laughs> okay, here we go. We're done. So I'm just going to add a couple of things to this video. So 
So what I have is I run off of my GoPro. I don't run off of the uh, little camera that they send you in the FPV kit. But if you wanted to, all you really have to do is hook hook the uh, the cable that you get with your little camera straight back to the OSD right where I said to hook up the camera. So, but if you don't want to do that, then take your cable, plug it into your Go your GoPro run it up through and underneath where all the uh, cables come out for your gimbal just run it up through there and then kind of feed it through the the body and get it back up to the uh, OSD in the back there and uh, it's kind of good because it keeps all it keeps everything kind of organized you only need a little bit for you know when it rotates and stuff so just make sure you have enough sticking out there I had to modify mine and make it a little bit longer because I didn't have enough room to get right to the back but real realistically there's not a lot of room inside the the iris to put a lot of stuff I mean I, I figured there'd be a lot of room to put the um, OSD kind of somewhere in the front or whatever but there's not a, not a lot of room so you really have to be creative as to where you put it and where I put it I think is the best place for it simply because I have uh, you know a bunch of other stuff going on inside there and uh, just makes it easier you know, and it makes it look a lot cleaner too when you're uh, when you're trying to get it, you know, looking half decent underneath. You know, and try to keep all the wires hidden and stuff like that. Like I've got all these lights in here, and they're all hidden because I had to take the body apart. And you know, I put I ran all my cables through the through the sides here where all the motor cables go, then just snapped it back up and yeah, can't see any cables, so it's a good install nice and clean but uh, yeah I think other than that uh, there's not really much else to say oh wait one more thing to say sorry about my crappy video <laughs> I'm not a really good videographer I guess but whatever I'm not really uh, into that <laughs>